Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So here we are again, about to rank up a new champion. You have about a minute before it is revealed, so if you want to leave your guesses in the comments below, feel free to do so before that minute mark. Alright, so, who do you think I am ranking up? And it's going to be a little bit of a surprise, I think. Not because this champion isn't a, you know, good champion, but it's a champion I've had for a little bit, and I do like, but I hadn't planned on ranking him up. All right, so we're getting close to the reveal, so last chance, leave the comment, all right? And it's going to be Dragon Man. All right, now, the reason that this rank up is somewhat unique is because primarily the reason that I am ranking Dragon Man up is for defense. Now, if you've watched some of my earlier videos, you'll hear me say, don't rank up champions for defense because defensive champions have a shelf life. You know, um, this is a great champion now, but eventually there's going to be a lot of counters and eventually this will not be the defender that he used to be. Right now, he's a pretty strong defender on particular nodes. Uh, let's remember Korg. Korg was very annoying, and they're still using him. But before Omega Red, before Havoc, he was a beast of a defender. Remember Iron Man Infinity War? He used to get tons and tons of kills in Alliance War, even my four-star against people who were using five-star champions, okay? Um, so they do have a little bit of a shelf life. And so I generally recommend ranking up for your progression. But that's the key, progression. If you are a progressing player, then you need to be focusing on ranking up champions that's going to help you progress. That's how you can best help your alliance. However, I've moved past that. I am no longer a progressing player. I already have a strong attack team, strong AQ team, a strong questing team. You know, I have enough champions now that it does not bother me to take up champions for defense. So when you get to that point in the game, ranking up uh, a champion for defense is what you want to do to help out your alliance. And that's pretty much what I'm doing here. Uh, we've had to face Dragon Man in war, and he is nasty. He um, almost always gets kills. So in my battle group, uh, I screenshotted my roster uh, because one of the officers knew that I had a lot of the newer champions. And... He was like, would you be willing to rank up Dragon Man or uh, Spider-Gwen? And I like both of them, but uh, I said Dragon Man because I definitely like Dragon Man and all that fire uh, more than I like uh, Spider-Gwen, who I also like. I liked her before she even got a buff, okay? Uh, so in any case, you're looking at some of his abilities. Uh, we're not going to go in-depth. I might make another video on that uh, a little bit later, all right? So... For now, we're going to head on over to the place you know and love. All right, we're going to go into a Realm of Legends, and we're going to fight Winter Soldier. He's not the best to showcase Dragon Man's um, abilities, but we will be able to see some of the potential, and it's still fun. Okay, so this is the team that I'm going in here with. Uh, Elsa, Mr. Fantastic, Carnage, Diablo, and Dragon Man. If you wonder why Diablo's on the team, let's take a look at the synergies that are active for Dragon Man. So this first synergy that's active is the one with Diablo. And as you can see there, D uh, Dragon Man Special 3 generates an additional stack of power charge. Okay, uh, the next one here, Ineptitude reduces the opponent's armor rating armor attack, uh, attack rating, critical rating, and critical damage rating by 10%. Uh, that's really nice, and it can be very useful, especially the reduction in armor rating, because that means we're going to do more damage. Okay, 
Um, the attack rating means they're going to do less damage. Critical rating, critical damage, all means they'll do less damage. But that first one means we'll do more damage. All right. And the final one here uh, just is more crit. All right. And that's pretty much what the other ones uh, give is just more crit. All right. Let's head on in there and play with Dragon Man. And I actually have fun with him. Uh, we're going to start off with the special one. And then we will move up to the special two. And then we'll do the special three. And I'll talk a little bit about um, the uh, special three, which has a lot of fun to it. All right. So special one. See that ineptitude. Um, and you see that I'm unblockable. Now, of course, he had a special, and he fired it off, but I had an unblockable. Anytime you knock down your opponent as Dragon Man, uh, you get an unblockable buff for, like, I think it's three seconds, all right? Here's the special two. It incinerates. Love that fire. And you see the unblockable buff? This time I waited because I knew if I just attacked him right away, he would fire off his special and intercept my attack. Um, that's something that the AI has started to do. All right, so now we're gonna build up to a special three, but look at the fury that the special two gave me. Look at the damage that Dragon Man is doing. Very, very nice. All right, we'll let that fury almost drop off, um, but it's still active, so it should give us a little bit more damage on that special three. Uh, also, I am running suicides, so the damage is inflated. All right, now watch this. All right, see how he intercepted me, but I don't care. Look at his health. That's what I wanted to show you guys. Did you see the health? Um, while he's unstoppable and unblockable, when he gets attacked, he's going to heal up um, like 85% of the damage that he took. So that's what I wanted to show you guys there. All right, so let's fire off a special two here get that fury all right um, he did it again I was trying to wait um, but he knows when that unblockable is up and so he will do that let's try that again because uh, I always try to sneak him with the unblockable all right we got two furies up all right let's wait okay see he attacked he didn't fire his special but he attacked me long enough that the unblockable went away. AI is slick. All right. Let's uh, go to the special uh, two again. This time we'll try to bait out his special. Okay. Um, he's still going to have that special one, but let's see if we can uh, get him. Nope. Fires it off. See? See what I mean? That's what he will do. You know, he's not letting you just get that unblockable attack on him. Uh, Winter Soldier, especially in Realm of Legends, you have to watch it. All right, here we go. We should be able to do it here. Boom. Okay. At the final end, we were able to hit him with an unblockable um, attack. All right, so kind of fun, you know. Um, Dragon Man is pretty cool. Um, let's do this next fight, and I'm going to just try to cycle... Uh, special threes since my health is a, a bit low So let's see what we can do now. There's a lot to dragon man Okay, a lot to dragon man. Uh, I am gonna fire the special two off first to get that fury up And because I'm running suicides that does hurt a little bit um, But That's gonna give us a lot of uh, damage uh, if you look into his abilities when he faces a non-science opponent and he's awakened, he um, gets a lot of different uh, abilities against them. Uh, so he's definitely worth awakening. He doesn't absolutely need to be awakened, but that helps a ton uh, with him. All right. So there we go. We got the special three off. All right. And let's see. See that? Didn't matter. We went right through her beam. Damage, don't really care. 
All right, let's fire off another special two. Get that fury. All right, and there we go. A lot of damage, a lot of damage. And I love the fact that even his heavy attack breathes fire. That was one of the main draws to me. I know it sounds silly, but the main draws wasn't whether he was a good champion, bad champion, but it was that fire. I'm a little pyro at heart. I love it. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all that damage. All right. Come on. Still unstoppable. That unstoppable duration is based on his power charges. Yeah, she was just waiting for me to attack. Um, wasn't much I could do there, but we gonna get him. Look at all that fire. Mm, all that incinerate. And good night. Okay, I think it's time to let Dragon Man rest. Uh, but in any case, uh, hopefully you see the power of Dragon Man. A lot of fun. A lot of fun with this champion. Now let's take a look real quick at what I was talking about earlier, his signature ability. Um, we're not going to go into depth, but just that signature ability. Just take a look. Um, if he's fighting any non-science opponent um, and they have particular buffs active, okay, um, he gets a, a unique effect and you can see what they are there. This is one of the reasons I said that Winter Soldier wasn't necessarily the best to showcase all of Dragon Man's abilities and potential. When he's going up against a non-science champion that regens, has a power gain, gets furies, armor ups, you know, um, precision, cruelty, if they rely on any of those types of buffs, he has a counter for it, okay? Um, if they gain fury, he gains armor rating, for example. They gain power gain, he reduces their power gain by a certain percentage. If they are regen, he reduces their regen rate. All right. So he's actually a pretty good counter to, say, Wolverine later on. And I might do a video uh, on that showing how he can take out Wolverine in Realm of Legends. OK, uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Uh, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about my rank up and uh, also the reasonings for my rank up. Have you had to face Dragon Man in war and how did it turn out? Let me know in the comments below. Take care and you all have a blessed day.